welcome back to another episode of CGN News. Um, it's my boy Preston and me, Garrett. Uh, we're going to give you the goods in this episode. Um, Preston's going to start us off with some NBA power rankings, I think, as our national news. So, as of this week, the number one team in NBA power rankings is the Los Angeles Lakers. You know, LeBron James getting and after it, you know. They got Anthony Davis. Quite the duo. Yeah. Number two is Miami Heat. I did not know they were good. Me I neither. Have no Haven't been good since they had LeBron and Chris Bosh. So. Number three is 76ers. D&B. And you got, got Ben Simmons. He's made a three. One three. Proud of him. Number four is Boston Celtics. Kyrie. Um, Kyrie. Kimba Walker. He's getting after it in place of Kyrie. Kyrie you know. Yeah. So that's pretty legit. Number five is Suns. D. Booker. Yeah. Getting after it. As you know, they were not good last year. So number six, coming up on number six, will be the L.A. Light, the not the L.A. Lakers, the L.A. Clippers. Kawhi Leonard. That's all you got to say about him. Won a national championship for his team they didn't have, and they would have lost it. Straight up. Wouldn't have made the playoffs last year. Wouldn't have. He's an MVP. Beast. Number seven, he had the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis. Giannis. Seven foot, man. I mean, how can you can't start? Guard him. You just can't. He's like, oh, oh, oh. Bucket. Score. Yeah. And then you got number eight, Dallas Mavericks. The unicorn. Christoph Porzingis. That man is a beast. Number nine, you got Minnesota Timberwolves. Didn't know they were good. Yeah, nobody did. Who even are they? Yeah. I mean, and then you got the number 10, Toronto Raptors. They're doing pretty well without Kawhi. Take back what I said. They probably might have played mid playoffs last year. Yeah, that is true. You know, uh, the one guy, Siakam, maybe, I think. I don't know. He's pretty good, though. Yeah. So, as you know, that's the end of the basketball rankings. So, I'm going to take us over to some Nash international news. Today for international news, we're going to have a heartbreaker as uh, nine U.S. citizens, including six children, were killed Monday in an apparent ambush on a highway in the Mexican border state of Sorona. The family was coming back from a shopping trip in Arizona as they were ambushed. Um, an eight-month-old twins were killed, as well as nine-month-old and four-year-old were shot in the chest and injured chest and back, you know. There are many other deaths and injuries, but we're not going to talk about those because they make me sad. So, I'm going to be talking to you about the current events for the next week. On November the 11th, there's going to be school board at 6.30 p.m. or boards of education is meeting, whichever one you want to go by. Tuesday the 12th, we will have a Wheat State League vocal honors at Central Christian. So good luck to them, and that starts at 1 o'clock p.m. And also, before I get any farther forward, this week will be the Fall Athletic Buffer Week. That means you can't get in the gym, can't get in the weight room. So I mean, you can at home, but at the school, no. No, no, no. And then November the 13th, progress reports are due. Keep those grades up. Good things will happen. And then 14th, we don't have anything going besides the buffer week, so it's just casual, casual day. So Friday the 15th, we have high school football sectionals against To Be Determined, which we will tell you about that next week. And also, if there is no game next week, the junior senior high school musical will start at 7 o'clock p.m. So go support them. At 7 o'clock, again on Saturday, they have the junior high school musical. So you know, go support. And that's it. Alright, so now you guys may be wondering, what in the world was last week's answer? What was it? Now, I got a treat for you. It's the answer. So, get your minds ready for this. Question was, um, two fathers and two sons walk into a candy shop. They each get a piece, piece of candy. Each piece of candy costs 50 cents. Total comes out to be 150. 
How is that possible? Well, you see here, one grandfather and one father and one son. The grandfather has a... Uh, he's the father of that father and those are his two grandsons. So there's sons. And then the other father, just the normal father, is the father of the son. So that counts for two fathers, two sons. Joke solved. So the joke of this week, after we had that nice riddle solved, we'll also have a riddle. Preston will hit you with that one. The joke of the week is, this one's a good one. I mean, it's going to make me laugh. <laughs> My sister was crying, so I asked her if she was having a cry, sis. <laughs> Dude, that's me schlapper. Like a crisis, but she's cry, and she's her sister. Like, like crying, sis, sis, like crisis. crisis. My sister was crying, so I asked her if she was having a crisis. Cause maybe you know she might have. That is hilarious. So Press is gonna hit you with this other riddle. Okay, so the riddle of the week. I have city, I have cities, but no houses. I have mountains, but no trees. I have water, but no fish. So, what am I? We'll bring that back to you next week. We'll bring it back to you next week. Don't you even worry about it. Um, so now I think we're going to cut to CG Sports. Alrighty. Good morning, fans and everybody else out there watching this. I'm here to inform you on the not necessarily districts, but the playoff bracket and how it's going and what it's looking like. And before I get started, I just want to give a shout out to Christian Dara's grandma, Myrna, for winning the election. Congrats to her. Everybody in the school voted for her because she's the one. Anyway, back to why I'm here. I'm going to start from the west side and then I'll go to the east side. And I'll just name all the teams and whatnot. I'll say who they, who the first round, and then who they play in the second round. So that's kind of how I'm gonna go. Uh, Cedarvale, Dexter, and Caldwell played. Uh, Caldwell won 46 to 30, so they moved on. And then Medicine Lodge versus Central Burden. Medicine Lodge took that one home, 58 to 12. So that means Medicine Lodge and Cald. Caldwell will play. And then Madison and Solomon played. 57 to 0 victory for Madison. And then Bennington and Maranatha played, which is a very high scoring game, it was 76 to 44. Maranatha pulled that one out. So that means Madison and Maranatha will play, which I'm pretty sure they met up uh, earlier in the season and the, it was like a really close game. It was like a one score game. And it was like 70 something to 60 something. It was a really high scoring game. And then South Central played West Elk and they beat them 47 to 0. So South Central moves on uh, to the next round. Seaton versus Argonia Attica played. Uh, Argonia Attica won 38 to 32. So they will go on to play South Central. And later, or earlier in the year, uh, Argonia Attica played South Central and South Central only won 17 to 0. Now their quarterback didn't play in that game but even then they still held them to only 17 points which for that ranked of a team it's that's pretty wild. So they'll meet up again and that'll be an exciting game and Kent Galva played Chase County and they won 46 to 0 so they will move on to the next round. Lebo and Gossel played 58 to 8, and they move on to the next. Lebo won 58 to 8, so they will play Kent and Gava uh, on Friday. Now on to the east side. Little River beat South Gray 54 to 0, so they moved on. Nest City played Maxville. Uh, Nest City won 23 to 8, so Nest City and Little River will win. Clifton Clyde and Hoxie played. It was 66 to 20. Clifton Clyde took took that one home. Uh, Leota versus Victoria. Uh, Leota won 88 to 66. 
Uh, very another high scoring game. So Leota will take on Clifton Clyde. Hodgman County versus Mount Ridge, uh, 54 to zero. Hodgman took that one home. And Pratt Skyline versus Spearville. It was Spearville won 48 to 26. So Spearville and Hodgman will play each other. Uh, St. Francis played Washington County. St. Francis won 46 to zero. So they moved on. And Hill City versus Joaquini Trego. Hill City won 64 to 40. So Hill City will take on St. Francis. And for right now, that's what it's about looking like. If I had to guess who will more than likely play in the next rounds, coming, I'll say my predictions and I'll you guys can see if I'm wrong, I guess. Caldwell and Medicine Lodge, I'm going to have to go with Caldwell. Madison, Maranatha, they did have a really close game when they played them earlier in the season, but to me, I still think Madison's a powerhouse, so I feel like they'll find a way to win. South Central versus Argonia Attica. From what I heard, uh, South Central's quarterback might not play in that game either, so it could be a really close game again. Well, not even really close, but not a very high-scoring game, I guess. So I'm still going to have to go with South Central just because they're a really good team and a really fast team. Uh, Kent Galvin and Leva, I'm going to have to go with Kent Galvin myself. Um, so that's all the west side predictions. On to the east side. Little, Ver Little River versus Nest City. I, that one's kind of difficult because Little River's ex got exceedingly well throughout the year, but Nest City has always been pretty good and they've had like pretty good group of athletes to play, so I don't know about that one. Clifton Clyde and Leota, that will be a game. But me personally, I kind of think Clifton Clyde will pull it out just because they just, I don't know. I haven't really heard, I just heard that Clifton Clyde is really good, but I've also heard Leota's got some men on their team. So I can't, I couldn't tell you who's going to win that game. Hodgman County and Spearville. I think Hodgman will win just because I have never really, I haven't, I heard the name Spearville before, and I've heard about him a little bit, but I don't, it doesn't compare to what I hear about Hodgman, because I hear they're really good, I guess. So I'm going to go with Hodgman. Then St. Francis and Hill City. I'm probably going to have to go with St. Francis. And so that'll be it. So that's your regional games, and next week will be sectionals. Go Eagles! Alrighty, so more exciting news. Kent Galva had two uh, athletes go to state in Wamigo, I think, and Christian Dara and Morgan Becker were those two special athletes. Saturday morning, they went up to Wamigo to run. I think there was 108 or something. It was over the hundreds of how many kids were there. And Morgan Becker placed eighth with a time. Gosh, I can't, I, I can't think of it. Really. I know it was in the 17s. I think it was like low 17s, and then Christian's was like 1730 or something like that. It was like a 30 second difference between Morgan and Christian. All I know is they raced well, and it was exciting to see them boys finish. And I have high hopes for them in the future because they are some really good cross country runners. So good luck to them and great job this year. All right. I'm Christian Dara, reporting the weather for this weekend and the upcoming week. So starting off on Saturday, it's going to be a nice sunny day. It'll be a high of 69, a low of 39 degrees, and there might be a little bit of rain, but doubtful, it's only 40% precipitation. Um, Sunday, It'll be mostly sunny, so there'll be a few clouds. Um, high of 58, low of 20, and there'll be a percent, zero percent chance of rain that day. Um, 
uh, Monday, moving on to the weekdays. Uh, it's going to be partly cloudy, so you'll have more uh, clouds than there were Sunday, and it's going to be real cold that day. Temperatures are going to be dropping, cold front coming in. It's going to be 29 degrees as a high, and the low is going to be 10. So it's going to be nice and chilly, and there's 20% chance of rain. Um, going on the next day, Tuesday, it's going to be sunny again, so all the clouds are going to be gone. It's going to be a high of 32, so not much warmer than uh, Monday and the low of 15. And you're not going to have any rain that day. Wednesday, partly cloudy, so clouds move back in. It's going to be warmer than the last day. It's going to be 41, so the temperatures uh, increased a little bit there, and the low is going to be 21. No rain. Pretty good day. Thursday, it's going to be partly cloudy again, about the same temperatures as. Uh, Wednesday, high of 40 and low of 18, and 10% chance of rain. Yeah. That's all the weather you got. You got. Keep doing basketball this season and in indoor track and then outdoor track. Indoor track? You want to explain well, what's indoor track? I mean, obviously it's track and stuff. Oh, um, well, it's just, yeah, I have like a club that I go through, and so I can go up there and practice. With them in the indoor season, some a couple days a week, and then there's like a few indoor season meets just at different colleges that have indoor tracks here. But it's just really just to get like some reps before outdoor season. Basically. Where's your goals? Is to make it to the state meet. That's probably the biggest one. It's gonna be very tough to achieve. Um, I made it to the blood round the past two years, so I was one one win shy of going to state the past two years. Um, Another one of my goals is going to be to not, uh, if I beat anybody early in the season, to not let them beat me later in the season, you know, still dominate them what uh, opponents that I've beaten earlier in the season. That happened to me a lot last year. Um, and then my final goal would probably be to, my third goal would be to break a uh, school record for escapes or takedowns in a season.